What's good, YouTube? It's your man BG Tech Life. And as you can see, we got the Pixel 7 Pro on deck, guys. And as you can see, it's January. It's kind of late in January. And I want to talk about the January update in 2023 for the Pixel 7 Pro. It's a lot to unpack. So first and foremost, shout out to Team Pixel for sending this device out. I am a member of Team Pixel. The January update, guys, has been lagging behind. I was not able to get the update over the air. I actually downloaded the over the air update from the website, the Google support website, and side loaded it to this Pixel 7 Pro because my Pixel 7 Pro wasn't getting an update. And I don't think a lot of Pixel 7 Pros are getting an update. Now that could mean that it's something that Google wants to fix and they might not really want to push a, a update until they do the February update. But I had to see it, I wanted to check it out, so here we go. This is kind of like everything that the update touches on. And as you can see, it's supposed to be for the 4A all the way up to the 7 Pro. I do have the January 2023 update on my Pixel 6A, but it will not over the air update on my 7 Pro. So it's supposed to be some fixes. We got the biggest thing is the spatial audio. This fingerprint scanner along with the facial recognition has just been spot on, on point, just working like very, very well, just up there competing with everything that's top flagship as far as under the under display fingerprint scanners. My camera fix, it's got some display and graphic fixes that I wasn't having, some issues I wasn't having, but I'm sure they're out there because they're fixing them and, and some user interface fixes. Now we go to settings and we go down to system, system update. As you can see, I just put it on there. Got the January 5th, 2023 update um this is january 21st it was not pushed out again i had to download it and side load it to my device now the two things that i want to talk about guys is the fingerprint scanner it has got substantially faster to me as far as unlocking my device and the amount of time that i gotta leave my thumb on the under display sensor it's got really good guys so um shout out to google for that that's something that they've been had they had an issue with on the pixel 6 pro and on this device, they really, really fine-tuned it where you don't even notice that, that it's really an optical versus a ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. Another big deal on this device, guys, right now is spatial audio. Now, if you go to settings and type in spatial audio, you'll see that it is actually an option for spatial audio on the January 2023 update. It might have been before this, I'm not sure, but a lot of people were asking about spatial audio, so I wanted to check in on it. And you can do it from wide headphones, but you can also do it from accessories, Bluetooth accessories that work with spatial audio. Now, as you see here, I got my, these are the Liberty 4 Soundcore earbuds, very dope pair of earbuds, guys. They work with spatial audio. So they're paired to my Pixel 7 Pro. Now under Bluetooth settings, guys, you see my sound called Liberty 4 settings. You will see that you can now activate spatial audio. Audio from compatible media becomes more immersive. So very dope, guys. The spatial audio is definitely there. I'm the fingerprint scanner has gotten better. And just the little fixes that Google has been doing all along with these Pixel phones. So that's just, I wanted to touch bases with y'all. No, I didn't get the over the air update. I know a couple other people that didn't get the over the air update. So we went ahead, downloaded the OTA and siloaded it to our Pixel 7 Pros just to check it out. It's your man BG Tech Life. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. If you're not following me on Instagram and Twitter, go ahead and follow me, BG underscore Tech Life. It's your man BG, I'm out. Peace.